Welcome. This is news for April 16th, 2022. The Meraki Tarot version 2 without borders. Okay, here's the first one. This is version 1. It had borders, but the version 2 has no borders. Borders have been eliminated. Oh my God, look at this. That looks so good. So, uh, Bouchette Design. They, they've gone through and did some edits on all the cards. Uh, you have 97 cards. Ooh, I got a workbook, a little crystal workbook uh, as well. Look at these cards. I mean, it's nuts. If you're not on the Meraki Tarot fan base, you need to be here. So uh, by the time you watch this video, it's probably on Kickstarter. Link in the description for the Kickstarter because, wow, it is. That is quite substantial. That is gorgeous. That is absolutely stunning. So you definitely want to be in on the Kickstarter. I don't know what extras are coming on the Kickstarter, but I want them all. <laughs> wow, this looks so good. Anyway, uh, it is coming up very soon on the 18th. So it's now the 16th today. It's on two days. Basically, by the time you watch this, it's probably up. Go check it out. The other big news is the Wonder World Tarot. Now, 227 backers. This is created from uh, by Amy, otherwise known as Push Kitty, which we all love and adore. And we have the most beautiful Wonder World Tarot deck in the history of mankind. Look at the box. Like, that looks so good. That just looks so good. Anyway, uh, go support Push Kitty right now by picking up this. Okay, the bigger news in this campaign is she didn't just put the Wonder World Tarot. She jammed in here a little Buddha Oracle, got the little Buddha Tarot, you got the Little Wizards Tarot. Basically, everything you want in your life is in this Kickstarter, including including the, um, what do you got, the little Buddha tiles, you got the little, uh, sorry, the Wonder World tarot tiles, the little Buddha pouches, ooh, there's so many good pouches here, we got, uh, let's see, I ordered this one, which is a uh, default, but anyway, the little wizard's tarot is here, the pastel kitty tarot is in the same campaign, so you can knock out all of the decks that you have been waiting for from Push Kitty in this one campaign. And that is the biggest news here. Because I told you, I've been waiting for the Little Wizard's Tarot Pouch. There it is. I've been waiting for the Little Wizard's Tarot in a hardbound magnetic box. And there it is. Smith & Morty Tarot is up here. The Little Buddha Oracle, Little Buddha Tarot, in case you missed it before. I, is like everything is in this one campaign. So this is huge. This is big. So uh, link in the description go check this out y'all guys have uh, seen this on my stream and everybody's like where do you get that you get that right here <laughs> so be sure to get that uh, immediately if you can all right now off to the mass market decks the tarot card coloring book i gotta say i'm a fan of coloring books i i like tarot card coloring books because it's sort of interesting the direction that they go with some of these anyway for seven bucks yeah, it's kind of cute right it's only 46 pages it's a coloring book but i mean whatever uh this looks kind of fun and for seven bucks i thought i would feature it and say look here's the coloring book you can look inside the coloring book here apparently I'm looking inside and I only see one image, you know? That's kind of a lame look inside. You guys need to fix that. But the next, the next thing is create your own tarot cards. Speaking of creating cards, step-by-step -step guide to designing a unique and personalized deck. 144 pages. So here we go. You, you just basically, see, this, you, this is what you do. You get your uh, watercolors out. You make your little cards, apparently, and this is how you create your own tarot deck. So, in case you've always been wondering how you do that, then there, there it is. There is your, your key, apparently. Sketching and inspiration, uh, the fool, the death, okay, whatever. So, yeah, 22 bucks if you're interested in this. 144 pages. Uh, it uh, encourages you to craft your own personal colorful style so go get it okay now alice in wonder speaking of alice in wonderland we are bombarded today with alice in wonderland the disney release the official disney release i mean not like not like the other decks oh wait not like the no way not like the other decks which are not official disney but this is official disney 
And uh, if you want to pick it up, uh, Mer Minerva Siegel is back. Number one in animated movies. How a tarot deck is the number one in the animated movies category, I don't know. But it has been pushed back. It has been pushed back again and pushed back again. But finally... I believe it's coming on April the 26th. Now, you've seen the images. They look pretty good. Not going to lie. Now, Siegel does have, well, not Siegel, but the artists do have a, a history of not really illustrating the miners very well. Basically, you get illustrated miners, but it's not just the deluxe, you know, kind of thing. And the fact that you don't see, uh, you really don't see any miners here kind of indicates something. Uh, you do have a page of teacups. I don't know. You got the mystery. We got the magician. Overall, I just want to see more miners. Mm, judgment, fool. Not seeing it. But okay. I uh, don't know. Are you willing to risk it for some miners? I think everybody loves Alice in Wonderland. I think it's going to be a great deck, especially for 20 bucks. Uh, I, it's going to be a no-brainer to pick up. A Tarot of Enchanted Soul is... I have to refresh it because the date changes every day. Is it really coming? Now, this has been released in other countries. A lot of people are saying, hey, I've got this, dude. I don't know why you don't have this. I already have this. This has been out in my country forever. Whatever. I don't got it. Uh, it Tarot of the Enchanted Soul is out there. It is coming soon. And uh, that looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I think it looks pretty fantastic. So if you're interested in this, we've been waiting literally forever. Borders are a little bit much. The keywords, yeah, it's a little bit over the top. But, you know, for 30 bucks, it has been coming soon for six months. Like, how long has it been coming soon? Now, I want to point out something here. This right here, this right here looks drastically different than this right here. Uh, we got big borders over here. We have all of these words at the bottom. So is it this or is it this? Which one is it? What the hell's going on here? Which one am I getting? I've never seen a, an Amazon uh, an Amazon preview where one image, uh, one set of images looks drastically different than the other set of images. What the hell am I getting? Like, serious question. Am I getting this one with the borders with the keywords? Or am I getting the one that I just saw back there? Am I getting one that's borderless? I have, th this is sad that I don't know what I'm getting for my money. Uh, the Queer Tarot, an exclusive deck and a guidebook. This is coming out on April 19th. Go ahead and pick it up if you're interested in this. It looks kind of cute. It looks kind of cute indeed. I think it's pretty reasonable for 28 bucks. So it's inclusive, affirmations, fully illustrated guidebook. Ooh, I like that. Vibrant art. Very nice. It is a perfect gift indeed. So if you're interested in this, coming out April 19th. The Body Tarot includes 72 cards and a 64-page illustrated guidebook. Um, tarot is more than 72 cards, I have to say. I'm going to have to remind everyone that 72 cards is not a tarot deck. Uh, we have, I can't even read that. Wow, holy low res images, Batman. Okay, five point body spread. That's great. Um, okay, the, okay, it looks like it's the high priestess. Okay, that's cool. The magician, that's cool. I mean, that's cool that we have that. Uh, why am I missing six cards? Where are the other six cards? Are they going to be shipped later? Is that an expansion pack? I'm not sure. Uh, it taps into the wisdom of your physical being. Wisdom would say we need 78 cards. My friends, 72 cards is not sufficient for a tarot, for the body tarot. I mean, feels like we need a little more body in our body. Mm, let's see. We got the Empress. We got Payoff. The Ace of Earth, the Three of Fire, the Eyes, the Chariot, the Lovers. Very minimalistic art and not enough cards. We are, we are missing six cards, my friends. Uh, Gustave Dore coming out on May 8th. This looks like, like a no-brainer. I pre-ordered this the minute I saw it. Beautiful art. Wow. Look at this art. Wow, that looks so good. That looks amazing. I love the shading. I love everything about it. 
Hopefully you got it on sale from Llewellyn during their annual or their quarterly sale. Knights Templar, speaking of Llewellyn, coming out. I'm still excited about this. Coming out in May. Get your pre-order in on this if you're interested, right? Get your pre-order in on this because I definitely do want uh, to get this in my hands and to have this on the stream. Love the art. I love the graphics on this. Soul Flower Plant Spirit Oracle. 30 bucks. Ooh, ouch. For 44 cards. That hurts. Uh, it offers in-depth guidance from each plant. I like that. High vibration, full color deck, artist and plant whisper. That's what I'm talking about. When I whisper to a plant, I want it to be documented. Lisa is here. Lisa wants us to know that we have soul flowers and if you like soul flowers, it is here indeed. A lot of watercolory things. For 30 bucks, you get 44 cards. If you're interested, pre-order that. Coming out in, uh, in March. Okay, uh, wait a minute. Coming out in March? What the hell's going on here? Oh, all right, it's already out. Sorry. <laughs> it's already out. Uh, anyway, yeah, get, get that in there. Okay, the surprise. I'm butchering this. I'm sorry. May 8th. It is another sexy deck. Everybody loves the sexy deck. Sexy decks, sexy decks with boobies. So yeah, if you like sexy decks with some boobies and some bare-chested things, look like an alien from Alien is uh, sucking on their chest here. Not sure what's going on. Um, pants are undone a little bit. I mean, if you're interested in a sexy deck, it's coming out on May eighth from Llewellyn again. Hopefully, this does not have seventy-two cards. It is a sensual and dynamic deck with masterful illustrations. Masterful illustrations indeed, with a very seductive style. So get that out there. May 8th, apparently it's already out. Is this a re-release? Could be. Marseille Tarot uh, looks pretty Marseille to me. It is Marseille indeed. So if you're interested in Marseille, something that's already been out maybe. And a re-release, apparently, May 8th, it's coming out. A faithful reproduction of one of the most famous decks in the world. Very interesting. I'm not sure. Let's look at it. I'm not sure which Marseille it's from, but if you're interested in that, pick it up immediately. Dungeons and Dragons tarot deck. Now, as all of you have messaged me, there are more images. And oh my, they're good images. <laughs> they are great images. Jesus, look at how good this looks. Look at how good this looks. Wow. Wow. Knocked it out of the park, my friends. Knocked it out of the park. Look at these images. This bananas. It looks so good. I'm very excited. I mean, I was excited about this because it said Dungeons & Dragons. Now, but now that I've said, look at that nice hardbound box. Beautiful cards. Full color book. <gasps> For $22? If you don't pick this up, there's something wrong with you. You got, you got this nice box. Beautiful cards. You got a full color book for $20. Wow. That is, I mean, that is... That's nice. It is not a gameplay accessory, my friends. So don't expect to be using this in your games. But, wow, that looks so good. Look at all the images we got. Tons and tons of images. It looks, yeah. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take, I'll take five of them. Uh, but, yeah, there you go. If you're interested in this, which you should be, then pick that up immediately because that is coming on May 24th. Definitely going to be the highlight of the May news as well. DC Tarot Deck and Guidebook. You know, enough Marvel stuff already. Enough of it. Okay. We have a DC Tarot Deck and Guidebook. Now, I'm hoping at this point we have some nice illustrated miners. I want to see some Harley Quinn. I want to see some Green Lantern. Uh, looks like they ditched Hal Jordan on the Green Lantern side. Okay. Green Lantern is Pentacles. Uh, okay, seems legit. Superman, we got uh, Wonder Woman. We got everybody up in here, $27. Casey Gilly, 17th and oh, November 1st. It's a ways out, but I want more images. But based upon what I'm seeing already, 
I like it. I like all things DC. I mean, I'm a big Green Lantern fan, Superman fan. Give me, give me some DC action with there. See, if Batman is going to be the devil. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, uh, 420, you know, if you're interested in, in smoking it up, we've got your tarot decks for you from Row House Publishing. We have the 420 tarot just in time for 420, which is a few days away. Look at this. I mean, if you need to smoke it up, then you can smoke it up with a 420 tarot. That's a bit extreme. That's a bit extreme. I mean, do we really need to do that with the eyes? But, uh, yeah, Knight of Swords. I mean, all the eyes are going to be like that? Really? Really? Uh, okay. Anyway, I mean, if you're interested in this, I'm not sure why you would be. But if you are, then smoke it up. Use your 420 tarot. It's only 20 bucks. It should have been 420 bucks, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, a, a much better version of this. If you're going to spend your 20 bucks, you can spend it on this. Or you can spend it on a much better, <laughs> a much better deck, in my opinion, which is this. This is for 20 bucks, the Metaphysical Cannabis Oracle deck. And oh my, it looks fantastic. That is such good art. Look at that. That's so wild. I love this deck. This is a fantastic looking deck. I'm pretty excited for this. Can't wait for this to be out. Now, this is a 128 page book. Uh, how many how many cards do we have in here? I mean, this is the number one release in marijuana cultivation. There you go. Not sure how many cards it is, really. I guess I'll look on Google and find out. But um, that's a thick box. Maybe 40, 50 cards, whatever. For 20 bucks, I'll take it. The beautiful art. Very nice indeed. Now, you also have, if you want to smoke it up, the stoned medium. Only five backers, my friend. It's a sin. It is a sin. But hey, if you don't show me any damn cards on your Kickstarter, <laughs> four backers, one backed out. If you don't show me any cards on your Kickstarter, how do you want, what do you want me to do? Like, why would you do a Kickstarter with no cards? Like, what do you want me to do at this point? You want me to just take your word for it? You'll be like, yo, it looks like Paul has created a Kickstarter. It's their first Kickstarter. It is. It's their first one. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe their, maybe their site has something. Oh, there's Paul smoking it up. There's Paul. Sm I got services. I got a service for you, Paul. How about you show me some decks? How about you show me something? So, Paul is decked out over here and uh, smoking it up. And a truck. It looks like their truck. Stoned medium. What is this? The Redeemer Tarot. That's not what I'm interested in. Uh, Paul, I'm interested in your in your thing here. The medium reading. I don't want a medium reading. I want to see your cards, Paul. Paul, what the hell is where the hell are your cards at? I'm sure that you like smoking it up. It looks like you like a drink and games as well. It looks like that you like stocking up on, on some edibles and some doobage. Where the hell are your cards, Paul? Paul, less smoky, more cards, Paul. Less smoky, more cards, my friend. So, yeah, the stoned medium is out there. Uh, a tarot deck with absolutely no idea what it looks like. Paul, straighten up, man. I mean, yeah. moon baby. I don't know if this is related to smoking it up. But, okay, my girlfriend picked this up. She loves it. Moon baby tarot. She has the cloth and everything. It's a unique looking deck. And it, it looks really good in person. Uh, this is what you see is what you get, though. I mean, this is what you're getting right here. So if this is your style, if this is your thing, I guess this goes back to how many Rider Waite Smith translations do I need? Uh, she likes it. So pick up the second edition if you're interested. How much are we going on Kickstarter for this? 45 bucks is pretty reasonable. That's not bad at all. Select a country. I want to select the United States. Why can't I select a country? Is it is it glitched? What's going on? I can't select my country. Okay, there you go. Now they say 56 bucks shipped. That was pretty reasonable. She got like the cloth and everything. She just rambles on how great it is. So whatever. Step back to the 70s. The spoopy tarot. It's a spoopy tarot. It's a kawaii treat for all spooky season tricksters. 
coming out in August for 20 bucks. That's reasonable. It's spoopy. It's, it's very kawaii. It is. The, no images at all. Y'all gonna want me to back these cards with no images at all. I mean, okay. Don't know how to pronounce this, but it is a tarot oracle. I mean, sounds like me. Coming out in 2023. Jesus. That's a long time, dude. 30 bucks. It is an oracle coming out in a very long time from now, my friends. It's round, soft, and intuitive energy. Colorful, creative nature. Let's see these cards. Oh, it looks okay. It looks, it looks all right, I guess. Do you, really, do you really need, like, a year to make these? I guess you do. Well, at least we have one card. If you're interested in this for, like, a year from now, then go ahead. And pick that up. It's all you. Spirit Guides Oracle. 50 cards. Thank you. 29 bucks. Art is cool looking. I like that. Very pastel. Well, digital pastel. Very digital pastel. <laughs> Very digital pastel -y. $29. Come and join the powerful world of animals and explore their ancient wisdom. I'm all in. 50 cards and a 120 page guidebook. Count me in. I like it. Coming out 2023. Apparently we need a year for that one too. The Black Tarot, an Ancestral Waking Deck and Guidebook. 28 bucks. We can pick this up for 28 bucks coming December. Um, it looks kind of cool. I like that. Ooh, I like just sort of the different feel of the cards. The back looks good. The fronts look good. It looks kind of interesting. I like the different colors there. But that is coming out soon. Now, let your guiding spirits and ancestral figures come through with a stunningly illustrated tarot deck. I agree. It looks great. Ooh, it's a deluxe set. So you get 78 cards, shrink-wrapped, okay, travel case, 168-page book. That's nice. Illustrated flexi bind book. Overall, this looks pretty cute. 28 bucks coming out in December. Get your pre-order in now. Raise your vibration oracle. 48 cards. Mm, I like that. I like that's cute. I like that for a little keyword deck. That's cute. I like how it's illustrated. Kind of hug the world. My high vibes and whatnot. 20 bucks seems very reasonable for 48 cards. Pick this up. Coming out in November. I can't wait to get this one. Kind of cute. The Godfather tarot deck. Oh my. Okay. Uh, what does it look like? We have absolutely no idea at all. It includes a 78 card C, not 72, 78, and a 96 page book on the family and its history. 20 bucks. All right, we'll see about this, right? It can be read exactly as you would. The popular right away deck. High quality tarot deck with original illustrations. Uh, Legacy of the Godfather. Okay, show me some cards. I'm kind of, I mean, you have my interest, the Godfather Tarot Day. The $24.99, you have my interest as well. I love the price. Um, not even going to try to pronounce this. We have Tarot Grand Trumps. Does this mean it's just, yeah, made up of the Major Arcana? Okay, very interesting. Black and white cards. It's just a, you know, sort of a major deck. Freaking cool illustrations, though. Really looks really good. I like it. 16 bucks. I think it's pretty reasonable, right? July. I just want the majors. It's kind of a collector's item there. Uh, the Tarot of the Millennium. Black and white cards are not like subway tickets. Signal the importance they have in the avenues of life. They're not like subway tickets. What the hell? Uh, not like subway tickets. Uh, okay. Um, can I use them to ride the subway? I don't know. I get you can speak of the riding Tarot for pregnancy. A companion for radical, magical birthing? If you are ready to give some birth right now, we have a tarot with an audio book for a tarot deck? What? Uh, oh, it's a book. Okay. A uh, Kindle book, paperback. So tarot for your pregnancy. It gives you 224 pages. Um, for people to tap into the internal ancestral wisdom of the journey through parenthood. Filled with incredible artwork. 
The Tale for Pregnancy is a perfect book for soon-to-be or parents are ready. There you go. It comes in an audio book. Let's, let's give it a listen, shall we? Or maybe not. Apparently, it's not ready. I guess it's not ready yet. I guess it'll be ready yet, uh, later. Sea Soul Journey Oracles connect with the healing power of the ocean. I want some healing power of some ocean. I want it. Wow. That... <laughs> So you just took pictures of water and then put words on the bottom of it. So you took pictures of water. You took pictures of the lake beside your house. And then you're like, dude, I, I think we can put some words on the bottom of this and sell it. Like, dude, really? Yeah. Are you being serious? Yeah, man, I think so. I'll just do it. I'm all in. I'm all in for 20 bucks coming out in May. Pippa Best has... Pippa Best, has, whatever you've used, the Sea Soul Journeys Oracle Cards provides mindful daily mantras to boost your mood. Mm. Providing quiet yet potent signposts. Featuring pictures of the sea. I uh, got that. Guidebook, explanations, blah, blah, blah. I mean, Pippa Best seems to be, I mean, Pippa Best is like, you know what? Screw it. I got, see, I got ocean in the background over here. I got a suntan. I got the ocean kind of hair. Dude, let's take pictures around there. Uh, let's see. Having worked in the film and TV development for 25 years, she has spent the last 10 years hosting retreats in Cornwall, the Sea Circle. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, a progressive outrage. Oh my. Okay. Now I wanted to, I wanted to, uh, focus on this 600 freaking pages, 600 freaking pages about president Trump. If, I mean, if you're in for political tarot and you're like, you know, screw it. I need some political stuff in my tarot decks. This is for you because this six, that's a lot of stuff to say. That's a lot of stuff to say. So uh, I guess if you're interested in this deck, maybe you already have it, and you want if you want a progressive outrage, and you want more political stuff in your tarot decks, there's a lot here. High Priestess, we got the Empress that explains basically all of the stuff. So I mean, you know, I, I guess. But uh, $9.99 for 600 pages. Uh, I, I don't mix politics with tarot, but if you do, maybe this is you. I don't know. Off to Kickstarter we go with the unofficial Disney, otherwise known as Disney. Oh, I see what you did there. That in the, in the category of, I'm startled that a cease and desist hasn't felled, fallen upon this deck, we have a, an outrageously expensive deck, by the way. Um, you, you, you are, okay, early bird, get your Disney, see what I did there, get your Disney tarot for, um, uh, let's see, early bird, Disney tarot, 99, okay, 73 bucks, 11 bucks, you're looking at $84, 84 bucks to get the Disney tarot. If you're interested in this now i'm not saying it, it looks bad it does look cute but 83 bucks for this I mean, what am i getting for 83 bucks i mean maybe i'm getting something just amazing like i'm getting tarot cards getting a certificate card okay uh 330 gsm cool go for stamping i like the backs i like the illustrations i like it but not for 83 bucks okay gold stamping okay um, sure. All right. I, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to say it's bad, but it, it looks like something Push Kitty would make and Push Kitty's going to sell theirs for like 30 bucks or 35 bucks, 40 bucks. I, there's nothing here that just makes me go, oh, I want to spend $83. Here's my $83 right now. Take my money. Take my money immediately. Um, but uh, but clearly, um, maybe I'm on my, maybe I'm on my other, li oh, uh, maybe I'm alone here. 124 people like it. Maybe you'll like it as well. Shadows of the Light Oracle, 162 backers. 
looks very cute. This looks sort of a psychedelic almost. Ooh, I like this. That's that's very unique art. That's really unique. That's so cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, uh, 177 people also like this a lot. How much is this beauty? Because this looks great. I don't want to print. I want a the deck. Deck is going to be 50 bucks. I mean, for Kickstarter, that's reasonable. Is that shipped? Um, select a country. It's glitched because it's old and it expired. But yeah, that's, that's reasonable. That's reasonable. Oh, snap. Something went wrong. Okay, let's reload it. Okay, the Fox Daughter Tarot. That looks really cute. I like it. 62 backers. Looks super duper duper cute. That looks pretty cool. I like this a lot. Look at this. It looks pretty interesting. I mean, you know, it's not like the best tarot deck I've ever seen in my life, but I like it. Uh, anyway, you're looking at how much for to get this in my hands. 62 bucks shipped. It's not bad. That looks really cute. The, again, not the greatest tarot deck I've seen, but I like it. I, I think it looks pretty cute. Moon Sprites Oracle. This is pretty. That is very pretty. It's very pretty from the what I just saw. Let me see some more. Maybe some more. Okay, here we go. Um, the Okay. That looks pretty. That looks really pretty. How much for this? Like, that looks super pretty. Coloring pages? No. Okay, I want a deck. The deck is, ooh, 44 bucks? That is not bad, my friends. 44 bucks for that? I like it. Very good Kickstarter. Like, like the theme, the graphics. I mean, just very, very good overall Kickstarter for this. I can see why there's 214 bankers here. Reasonable price. You got an Oracle. You got 45 cards. Two-piece box. I mean, nice. Shadow Seeker Tarot is still here. A couple of days to go. Let me refresh it. A couple of days to go. And, uh, wow. It is so freaking nice. I mean, like, if you just want art and you just want some good-looking art, that looks absolutely amazing. I like it quite a bit. So, very, very impressed with this. Definitely in there. Feline Rider Tarot, you've heard me talk about this a gazillion times. So, so pretty. They did such a magnificent job. Wheel of Fortune Tarot, they get you your deck. I mean, they're a company that gets you your uh, deck. 300 backers for a good reason. Okay, Granny's Postcards Tarot, mainly here because what the hell's going on with this? 64 backers. Let me refresh it. 64 backers, 4K. I guess the card that ruined the deck for me is this one. That The card that ruined the deck. What the hell's going on here? So, it... What, what's going on here? What's happening? So there's a goose, and there's a man's junk, and there's a gap in the fence. What's going on? What the hell's going on here? There's a couple of cards. You're like, what is going on here? I mean, okay. We're shocked, because this man's grabbing the hooters and the seven of swords. Um, I... I I'm not really sure. Some of these cards, I'm like, what? what's happening? Uh, it, it's very kind of an unusual deck because in some, in some cards, you have like a real face and other cards, you have like an illustration. So it's kind of a weird mix, in my opinion. Um, I don't know. I, there's just a couple of cards in here that just kind of ruin the deck for me. M maybe you're into this. Maybe... Maybe this is what Granny did. Maybe that's what Granny did in the day. I don't know. I mean, I wasn't around. But did your Granny do this? Is this your? Did your Grandpa do this? I would call your Grandpa now and ask, Grandpa, did you do this? Did you have an interaction with a duck that looked like this? And and maybe they did. I mean, maybe I can. I, maybe I can ask this guy. Maybe see five. He's created five decks. So we got the Reverse Scale Tarot. We got the Sea Witch Tarot, which is canceled. The Sea Witch, which is not canceled. The, I like the Sea Witch. I thought it was cute. How much was this? Uh, anyway, I think we've gone a little bit out of our comfort zone with the Granny Tarot. 
But hey, if you're interested, go pick it up. Luna Factory. Now, I, I, I got in the mail my Luna's Bear Tarot. Just wanted to let you know that uh, they do have other tarot decks. But wow, they're expensive. <laughs> but I got my Luna Bear for like 35 bucks. Now it's 48 the, these are $58. Mm, I mean, they're cute. I mean, it's cute. It's just not something I'll pay 60 bucks for. I know tarot's expensive to print now, whatever. But, I mean, you know, if you like the Luna Bear Tarot, I had to go look at their other products. They are out there. And that is it for the news. And the rumors are true. Did you know I had a Patreon? A Patreon is where you can support me. If you like the work I do, if you like the things that you see on the channel, consider supporting me. Well, you get all the handouts from all of my projects. So if I have a handout for the collabs or the Tarot and the Seasons, the Selling Your Tarot on Kickstarter, Psychic Fair Secrets, all of the handouts, all of the cheat sheets. You get it all, including all of my books that I've written, the Tarot Oracles book, Echoes of Nature book, and the upcoming book that I have for the Waterfall Tarot deck. In addition, you get the fluffy Virgo Lenormand and all the Lenormand cloths are all included. But the best part, one of the best parts as well, is I teach you how to draw. So if you're interested in drawing stuff, if you're interested in getting pet portraits out the window, I teach you secrets on how to do that in like four to five hours. You can draw the animals you see on the screen. I have secrets to how to do it super quickly. I have super quick method to where everything you see on the screen was done in four to five hours. What can you do with this? You can go to your local Facebook groups and sell it. You can go on Etsy and sell pet portraits and make some pretty good cash. I mean, on Etsy, just by the way, this is 15 hours, 15 to 20 hours of information and actual instruction. I show you all of the pencils to use, how to use them, all the techniques step-by-step, step, nice, slow manner. And again, this is only four hours work. I mean, you see people on Etsy doing um, realistic pet stuff. They're charging over a hundred bucks. So, you know, if you're interested in this, if you're interested in cranking this out in like four hours, then uh, definitely see my course. My, my, my actual pets look better than that. My, that's, that's kind of, I mean, that is like a three-hour job there for me. Um, but yeah, the actual pets look better than that. I mean, look at that and compare it to that. I mean, mine look better. I mean, I'm just saying, mine look super realistic and I only do it four to five hours. Anyway, thank you for supporting and watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, we'll see you next time.